Yo, what is up everybody? It's Eric. Beautiful day here on the Raritan Bay. I hope your spring has been as productive as mine has been. I've been down to the Toms River, but I mean nothing, absolutely nothing kicks off the way it kicks off. There, there we go, there's one. There's one, just as we were talking about. All right, there's one. Oh, this little bastard ruining my intro. Oh, you popped off, son of a bitch. All right, where was I? Where was I? Okay, beautiful day here on the Raritan Bay. I uh, hope your spring has been as productive as mine has been, blah, 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 blah. That dude messed up my whole intro. Messed up my whole intro. Okay, so anyway, as I was saying, Raritan Bay, on fire. Um, Raritan Bay, man, in springtime, it's like Disneyland for striped bass anglers. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. Two weekends ago, my boy BT uh, got himself his first keeper, first fish, first keeper, 30 inches on bloodworms. Uh, my first keeper came last weekend, same thing, bloodworms. Uh, just waiting and baiting. I'm not gonna make a lot of videos, you know, doing the, I already got videos out there of, you know, doing the bloodworms. I'm not trying to make a habit out of it. Uh, today we're gonna be doing a couple different lures that I went all in on uh, this winter. Number one is the Mad Mantis Glider. Uh, they come in a couple different colors. Absolutely phenomenal action on them. And they are heavy and cast a country mile. Damn, that cast. That thing flies. It's a moderate retrieve on these. You know, you're not going too slow. You need to, you need to kind of kick in the action here, but I'll also give it a, you know, a couple couple pop pop moderate retrieve just trying to get that glide action going that back and forth there we go there's one there's one there's one there's one <coughs> Ooh, feisty 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 there's one there's one there's my guy. There's my guy. There's my guy. Come here. Come here. Where is he? There he is. There's my guy. There you go, that's probably a solid. I don't know, 20 inch or 20, eh, 23. I'll send him on his way. Oh, he was already ready to go. Look at him. Yeah, so chalk one up for the Mad Mantis glider. Nice. I bought in big time with these lures. Got one in like every color possible. Right now we're doing the uh, sort of the gold and silver action. Um, mainly because bunker's running right now and uh, that's the closest thing I have to like a bunker color. No, on, on, on again. Mad Mantis on fire. Oh, this one's got a little weight to it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. It's me and this dude now. This is gonna be a click. Oh man, this is gonna be a keeper class fish. Oh man. Barely gaining any ground on him. I'm gonna start walking towards the beach. Because I know this one's gonna take a while. Oh boy. Holy sh. Oh no! No, you mother. Emotional damage! Oh, that was the one. What happened? That was the one, bro. 
Oh, break my f heart. What happened? Oh, man, too small of hooks. What am I doing? Oh, the one that got away. Those are always the most painful, right? Like, you always remember the big ones. It's like a hand of poker, right? You don't, you, you don't always remember the big pots you won. But you sure as shit remember the big pots that you got hosed on. This thing's got the hot hand right now. God damn it. There's probably have bigger hooks on here. All right, Eric, get your head back in the game. Quit, quit, quit crying. There's one. Why don't you go for me now, buddy? Small. Small but on. Come on, get over here. Come on. Get over here. Yes. All right, chill. God damn, chill. Chill. All right, there you go. Little guy, little schoolie. There he goes. Tell your big brother I'm pissed at him. There's one. There it is. 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 And the action is on fire. Oh, okay. Got a little weight to her. Got a little weight to her. Towards the beach. Just going for a stroll, baby. Just gonna be in here. Just going for a stroll. Just going for a walk. Let's go for a walk. Wow, nice, 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 nice. Nice fish. Nice fish. There you go. There you go. Rare it in bag. There you go, my friends. There you go. There we go. There we go. Danger zone. Danger zone. Decent fish. Decent. 
There we go. Maybe not so decent. He's got some weight to him, but doesn't have a lot of shake. Let's see, buddy. The next day. Here we are back at it again. Yesterday was so good fishing that I spent all night, as many of us do, just kind of thinking about getting back on the water, getting back into the action. And I told the wifey, listen, honey, you're going to have to take the kids for another day because the Raritan is just too hot right now. Thankfully, I have a wife that's very understanding of my addictions, and my addiction is fishing. Yesterday when I got home, I reviewed the footage briefly and realized, in my infinite wisdom, that the two slot keepers that I caught and released, neither one of which were on camera. One of them, I simply forgot to turn the camera on. This is why you come to the Raritan Bay, right here. Spring striper season. I bet you two to one odds. I didn't have the camera rolling. Emotional damage. And one of them. My GoPro ran out of batteries and I had to charge it on the beach. And got, you know, mid 30s fish, which kind of broke my heart for the content. So, we're back at it again, looking for the one that got away. All right, in the spirit of keeping things interesting and just trying something different out without switching the lure, we're gonna go with the white Mad Mantis and see if we have the same kind of success that we did yesterday. Maybe even more. Mm. Got him. Got him. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Got his ass. Oh. for a walk. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Nice one. Nice one. Come on, me and you, buddy. Going for a little walk. Going for a little walk. Ooh, nice one. There you go. Raring and bay stripers. If I am a cooler, this would be the end of the road for you, buddy. We're gonna go ahead and put you back. There he is. There he is. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Dude, this is just like the one that I lost yesterday. Oh, please don't lose her again. <laughs> Stalemate time. Stalemate time. Oh, oof. 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 Come on. Ooh. <laughs> Please stay on. Please stay on. Please stay on. Don't. Don't f me here. I, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. She's a big gal. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, man. I know, I know, I know, I know. Don't worry, I'm gonna put you back. Just, just come with me. Just come, come with me. Just come with me. I'm gonna put you back. How the hell? Foul hooked. That's why. Foul hooked. All right, not a huge fish. Probably in the 21 class, 22. But foul hooked. Big old belly on her. Good. So the white works. I just think this lure is amazing. You know? This is the retrieve right here. Boom, boom. I'm not breaking any new ground here. This isn't any new technique. You just gotta get the right cadence down. We got a little twitch twitch. A little catch fish. He's on. Schooler Dooler. Schooly. How you doing, bud? Doing alright? Doing alright? There you go. Go get it, dog. Get it. You got a bend in the bowl. Let's go. That's it. Oh, you went and bought it? You bought it? The gold one? All right, let's see it. Let's see it. I got four colors. But how many? Four colors? Yeah, it's a good lure. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Bring her in, baby. Bring her in. Bring her in. There you go. That'll keep. That'll keep. What'd he get it on? He got it on the mad passes, bro! <laughs> Yo! My oh, man. Nice job. Nice job. You got it. All right. I, I thought that was the best way to, to end the video. That guy right there, right, as I was walking off the beach that first night, came up to me and asked, hey, man, I, I, I see you catching fish. I see you outcasting everybody. You know, what's your secret? And there really was no secret. It was all about the Mad Mantis Quake. So I told him all about the lure and the success I was having. Well, wouldn't you know, walking off the beach that second night, there was that same exact guy in the same exact spot catching a keeper fish 
off of the lure that I recommended. And 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 really, that's that's the whole point of this YouTube channel, at least from my perspective, right? I'm learning as I go. So if I can pass on a little tip, a trick, a nugget, just, just a little nugget, just a little nugget of information, or if you get a couple chuckles out of what's happening, you know, mission accomplished. The Quake. First thing you notice about this thing when you hold it in your hand is for a five and a half inch plug. I mean, this... This has got some weight to it. And and listen, I, I'm, I'm a distance whore. I'm a casting whore. If I can't go yard with something, I'm not interested. I can't tell you how many lures that I bought in the $20 to $30 class, tried it out for the first time, you cast it out, and it just... The hell was that? And then it goes right back in the bag and, and, is, and is never seen again. These things got some weight. These things get some distance. And I can't wait to see how they perform actually like on the beachfront in the surf. Secondly, these things have a absolutely phenomenal back and forth action. You kind of got to get the cadence down, right? You, you kind of got to get the retrieve down. And there's slight variances in the retrieve, but it's like it's a moderate retrieve. You can go a little faster, uh, you know, which will which will kind of tighten the wiggle and make it go like this. You can go a little slower, which will make it go. Those twitches are important because it really makes, you know, this this jerky move. You can't go to, if, if you're one of those anglers and you see them on the beach and, and the Lord dictates the cadence and they're just like slow retrieve and pop, pop, slow retrieve, pop, pop. That's not That's not for this thing. That is not for this thing. It'll just kind of bounce along the bottom. Also, you can't retrieve them too fast because it looks like a bait fish sniffed a line of coke and just... So the pros are phenomenal casting range, great action if you get the cadence down right, and a lot of different colors, variety to choose from. All right, let's talk about the cons of this lure, right? Uh, two of the concerns that I had were oh, squashed immediately with some internet research. Number one, I was disappointed that I didn't have a color that was like for nighttime, you know, this sort of like dark purple, blurple sort of deal. Um, boom, right there. Found it at uh, Real Seat and Brielle, who has a phenomenal selection. I think has all of the colors of these things. I know you can find them at Fishing Headquarters too. I originally heard about it from Grumpy's Bait and Tackle. But I was kind of uh, relieved to find that they had some sort of purple uh, color to it. Second one that was kind of debunked right away is that even though this is five and a half inches and it has its time and its place, certainly along, along smaller or even slender baits, I, I wish they had one that was like bigger. You know, what I mean, if you're really going for those like trophy sized bass, you know, something that was maybe an inch and a half bigger. Turns out they do. They do have a six and a half inch variety. However, it is weighing in at a very bulky, damn near three ounces. I, it, it would really be nice to have like that six and a half inch plug at that two ounce range. I think that would be a sweet spot that I would be really interested in. But again, it's not to say that the five and a half inch close to two ounce or isn't catching fish. Clearly it does. And just to prove my point that it catches fish, I mean, I even went to a completely different location away from the Raritan Bay just to see if I could replicate the same success. And on the bunker style, I mean, it was can't miss once again. The con that I will kind of dig my heels into is the hook size. Even on their website, they recommend like a 1-0 or it comes normally they come rigged like this like they're just bare bones so you have your freedom to do whatever you want with this you can add bigger hooks to it i have added bigger treble hooks to it it just looks weird you know when you see a lure that it's like you know the lure is too small for the hooks or the hooks are too small for like putting bigger hooks on this thing was like putting 20 inch rims on a fiat it just looked weird but you can go you know, the single inline hooks. It's important though, folks, to remember if you're doing sing as this is flowing, back one, not so important. I like it facing down. This one on the belly has to be facing down. So make sure you got your hook angle right. But you can go single inline hooks. So, I mean, uh, uh, look, I, I wish I could give you more feedback on this or, or have more of an opinion. I don't have enough experience with single inline hooks on plugs that really, I, there's guys out there, you talk to them, and they swear by the single inline hooks. 
you talk to guys out there and they say that you miss more fish with these style hooks than you do catch fish with these style hooks. You talk to some guys out there and they'll have a single inline in the back and a treble in the front. I, I just don't have enough experience with them to give you an opinion personally one way or the other. Please share your opinion in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think of these single inline hooks for plugs. And while I don't have a lot of experience with these particular hooks, here's what I do know. Number one, it's safer for the fish, okay? Because we've all had those times where we've jammed one up with a treble hook and it's been nasty. So it's safer for the fish and um, it's probably safer for you. Because if you're anything like my boy Frankie one time over here, sometimes a good fishing trip can turn into an impromptu, you know, trip to the hospital. All right, so I hope you were entertained and learned something today, okay? I wish you nothing but success and tight lines. Make sure you give the old thumbs up, hit subscribe, leave a comment, share with your friends. You know the drill, all right? So until next time, tight lines.